Hello everyone, in this video we'll take a close look at MCP, the Model Context Protocol by Anthropic. We will cover what MCP is and how it works, the key advantages and potential drawbacks, how to implement your own MCP clients and servers, and we will also build a React AI agent with Langraph that uses MCP tool calling. So first, what is MCP? MCP is a standard protocol for helping AI-driven applications communicate with external data and data sources, like weather APIs, GitHub, databases and more. Right now, each integration is done differently. So MCP wants to simplify this by providing a single, consistent way to coordinate such interactions. But why do we even want to use a standard protocol? So many AI services currently connect to external systems in different ways, which can lead to inconsistencies or extra setup work. So by following MCP, everyone can adopt the same approach, which saves a lot of time and also improves the security across the board. So here's an example of many different MCP servers. So if you want to use such a tool, then you don't have to write your own integration. You can just use that MCP server. In MCP, we've got three main roles. The first one are hosts. These are applications like an AI editor or cloud desktop that needs to access data or services via MCP. Then we've got clients and the clients keep a consistent connections to MCP servers and often handle tasks like text generation or controlling file access. MCP servers are lightweight services that provide tools, prompts and resources. You can think of them as mini APIs or feature sets that the client can tap into. So how does the workflow look like? First, the host launches a client. Then the client starts a session with the server and announces what it can do. For example, I can generate text or I can provide file access. The server replies with its own capabilities. For example, I have these following tools and I can show you these prompts or I have this data. So now both sides know what's possible during their sessions together. So let's now have a look what client and server capabilities currently are. The MCP client may provide sampling, then the server can request the sampling and the client can produce a I generated text or completions. Then we've got roots. The client declares which folders or files are accessible and this can control the data access to your local file system. So that is very important for a code editor. MCP servers can offer three resources. The first one are prompts. These are pre-configured instructions that guide AI outputs. Then we've got resources and resources are organized data such as file contents, Git histories or other relevant information. Then we've got the, in my opinion, most important feature of MCP, which are tools. Tools are functions or APIs that AI can talk to, like making an external request to a weather API. Let's now have a look at the potential drawbacks of MCP. So my first question was, are the client-side capabilities like sampling and routes truly necessary? Especially since I had a look at the current MCP tools and none of them uses the client-side capabilities. So by omitting these features, we could adopt a simpler stateless approach that doesn't rely on a persistent session or server-side events, which would reduce the technical overhead and the complexity. But I have to be honest, I'm not quite sure about that because of course I also see that session-based design could allow for real-time interactions, iterative tool usage, and also offers advanced security since only the client allows access to the file system of an MTP server. But of course, currently this is only theory because I did not see a real MCP client and server which take that approach into the real world. Okay, so I think this was enough of theory. Let's now jump into the code and create our own MCP client and MCP servers. Okay, I'm now in VS Code and here on the left you can see multiple files. So we will implement a server, we will implement a host with a client, we will implement also a client with Langref. So Langref provides an adapter, which makes it very easy to create an React AI agent that connects to an MCP server. So first we have to install the correct package. We do that by installing MCP. And here we also use the CLI. So we wrap that in brackets because we can use the MCP CLI to uh, use a startup command for our server. Okay, after installing it, we will set up our first server. So here are some packages and libraries currently unrelated to MCP, so we will concentrate on the most important part. From MCP, we've got a server module and there is a fast MCP module, which gives us this fast MCP class. 
So we create our server by instantiating that with a name, the host, this is localhost, and we want to run our MCP server on port 3000. So we use that MCP instance, and now we can add tools, resources, and prompts. So if you want to add tools, then we can use the tool decorator from MCP. And here in this case, we added three tools. We added an add method, a multiply method, and now the only real world method is a search docs method, which will actually uh, make a search over documents. And here in the ingest.py, we put some data into a vector store. So if you're not part of my usual audience, so we can set up a vector store and add documents to perform semantic search by using so-called embedding. So we just set it up so we can search in this vector store by making MCP tool calls. Beside the tools, we can also expose resources. And for this, we just use another decorator, which is the resource decorator. And here we provide a resource. So this is like an endpoint. So we have to write it like this resource and then here this endpoint and the endpoint is hello. Then we've got a more dynamic endpoint. So here we've got a fiction restaurant and we have this dynamic value, which is item. So if you're familiar with REST APIs, then this should look pretty intuitive to you. So this behaves like a normal get endpoint where you make a request and get a response from the server. Okay, so the last feature is prompts. And prompts are important if you want to give your AI system some kind of dynamic behavior. And we can save prompts like this in an MCP server. And we can also use dynamic prompts for that. So in this case, we've got a greeting endpoint with a single variable, which is name. And this name gets passed in this part of the prompt. So we've got a system prompt and we've got a user prompt. And everybody who wants to make a friendly greeting can do that by just making a request to our MCP server. So like I said, I think the tools are the most important parts since I think 90% of use cases will make use of standardized tool calling. Okay, so now we have to use a command to create or start our application and we can use the MCP CLI for that. So the MCP CLI has got this run method and we can define the transport method that we want to use for any real world application you want to use SSE. So SSE is short for server send events. And now we can run it by running Python server.py. And as you can see in the startup command, now our server gets created. This one uses UBI corn under the hood. So if you're familiar with fast API, which is the most um, important REST API library, then everything should look pretty familiar to you. Now let's have a look how we can use a client to connect to our server. So this is how we can do it. We can import from MCP the client session. And since we use SSE, we also need to import this SSE client function. Then we use async with, so we use a context manager and we create our client. So we connect that client to localhost port 3000. This is where our application is running and everything is exposed to this SSE endpoint since we use SSE to set up our server. Okay, now we have to use the client session and use the initialize method to create a connection to our MCP server. Then we've got some methods like list resources. This will list all of the available resources of our server. And of course, we can also use a method like this, read resource, where we can actually access our resource. In this case, we know that we've got food and we've got this dynamic item. So we use pizza to read this resource, and then we can get the response from that server like this. We can also list the available prompts by running the list prompts method. And we can also get a single prompt here. In this case, we want to get the friendly greeting prompt and we provide the arguments. So this is the dynamic name inside the prompt and we use Alice. So this will return a friendly greeting to the name Alice. After that, we just have to run it. So I'm going to demonstrate that just by running Python and then client resource.py. And this is what we get back. Here we can see that we read this resource and here we've got a price for $10 for the pizza. We've got this 
hello endpoint and we also got this prompt endpoint where you can see that we retrieved this friendly greeting. So this is how we can connect to our MCP servers and get information like tools, prompts and also information from resources. Okay. So now I want to show you how you can integrate Langgraph so you can create a real-world AI application by using MCP server. To integrate Langgraph into the MCP world, we have to install an adapter package. So we have to install pip install langchain minus MCP adapters. And if you don't have Langgraph installed, then you also have to install Langgraph and also Langchain OpenAI for this example. After installing the required packages, we will import some functionality. So from the Langref MCP adapters package, we've got a client and we want to use the provided multi-server MCP client. Then we also import a function load MCP tools. This is a convenient function to load all the MCP tools from the MCP server. And then we've got this create react agent function, which makes it easier to create uh, a graph. And we also use chat open AI for our model. So first we instantiate the chat open AI model, and then we create a server config. This is for the multi-server MCP client, and we provide a dictionary with a key. So that's our only server that we use. We use transport, which is SSE, and this is the URL that we want to talk to. Then we use that server config and create an instance of the multi-server MCP client. After instantiating the client, we can use the get tools method to get all the available tools of our MCP server. And then we're gonna use the create react agent method to create our agent, which gets models and gets the tools. These tools come from the MCP server. So let's actually try it out. So what food does Bella Vista offer? So we've got some documents where we can see that Bella Vista only offers pizza, their well-known wood-fired pizza. So this is what we should get back as a result. So now we, of course, want to print the result and we want to run that. So let's try it out. We run Python host and client.py. So this is some quite difficult object, but here you can see that is the relevant part. The AI message, Bella Vista offers a classic wood-fired pizza, which is prepared with fresh tomatoes and so on. It's the only item that they serve. So as you can see, this is really coming from the document that we uh, stored into the vector store. But yeah, that's the workflow. So we've got our host, the host creates our client, the client connects to the server. From the server, we get the tools, we provide the tools to the AI. We use that tools in our agent and get back a result from that agent. So this is how we can do it. Currently in Langref, our multi-server MCP client is not able to connect to resources. So if you want to do that, then here you can find an example. So this is an multi-server MCP client with resources. So we have to implement some methods. So it's pretty easy to overwrite. We have to overwrite this list resource method. And here we just access the current session, list the resources, and then return the response um, object here with has, has got this resources attribute. So this is how we can do it. We can also read a single resource like this. So if you're interested in extending or creating your own MCP client, you can easily do it. So if you run that, then we should also see client resource langref.py. Then also the langref agent can access our resources. So hello from the resource endpoint. Okay, that's it. I hope you're as amazed as I am by MCP and I hope that we now got a common standard to integrate AI tools, prompts, and of course also resources. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.